Hi my Stitchy Stitchy friends, it's Angela here. I thought I would do a final Stitch Mania update and show you my uh, last five projects that I got starts on um, for days 11 through 15, Stitch Mania. So the 15 days of crazy officially came to an end yesterday, which is sad, but I need to catch up, although I still want to do a few more starts um, this month, I'm pretty sure, but we'll see. I'm sorry that I'm looking like a hot mess today. I am so sweaty and so hot, but I've been running around since I got up this morning. I took my son to dance and I stitched a little while while he was in dance, but afterwards there was a charity event in our little square uptown for the United Way, and it was really cute. They had little booths set up from local businesses, and you got five tickets for five dollars, and each ticket lets you go sample a sweet treat um, at any of the five you wanted. So, and then you got a little token to vote for your favorite. So there was like ices and frozen yogurts and cupcakes and different like chocolate apples and different types of covered apples and fruits and all kinds of good stuff. And then also like Dickie's Barbecue and Chick-fil-A set up where you could buy food food as well. But all the proceeds went to the United Way, local United Way chapter. So it's always fun to support our local businesses. And then there was like a little flea market set up, up down the uptown street at the same time. So he's able just to go look and, and find little things. I didn't find anything, nothing stitchy, sad. My little man found him some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, so he was happy. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to start showing you all this, but please just ignore the sweaty hotness that is me, because I didn't bother to shower before I showed you this, because I'm going to be sitting outside and sweating more anyway. Okay, so five new starts in the last five days of Stitch Mania. And I always forget to bring up something to hold behind my piece. Always. So I'll use this. Okay. I got the outline done on Elsa. She is stitched with Arctic Splash by from Jodry Designs. So I now only have one more princess to outline. And then six of these that are outlined that I need to fill in. I think it's six. Um, Rapunzel is all I have left to actually outline. And then it's just filling in. Which takes longer, but I don't have to have a pattern with me. So that makes it easier in some cases, depending on where I'm doing it at. Last night, I started this piece. And I got to stitch all evening. Because my husband is at a cycling event. He should be home in a couple hours, but he left yesterday to go to a cycling event. And after feeding my kid and getting seriously, seriously stomped in a game of Monopoly, I had the whole evening to catch up on my shows and stitch. So, it got quite a bit done. Now this will end up saying, I don't have a picture. I'm almost out of ink, so I didn't get a print off a picture to show you. But this will end up saying, I love you a thousand yellow daisies. And then there will be more daisies over here and a bunch more down here. And it's a quote, well not really a quote, but it's um, mentioning a thing from Gilmore Girls. So all you Gilmore Girl friends will get that. And even not Gilmore Girl fans, it's such a cute and colorful design. So I'm in love with it. And it's stitching up so fast and so cute. And I'm loving all the bright colors. If anyone is interested in this, I'll try to remember to put a link, try, in the down bar. Um, it's on sale right now on Etsy. The the designer, it's her birthday month, so she's giving 50% off. There's a little coupon code in the description that you just enter when you go to check out. So it ends up being like $3.08 or somewhere right around there, which is super cheap. And the pattern calls for two, two skeins of every one of the DMC colors that's in this. But I'm already this far, and I'm not even close. Like, I've barely made a dent in taking off of the first skein, so the only one I would worry that I might run out of will be the lemon because of all the daisies, but I really don't think I'm going to use more than one even of it. So you can save yourself some money by only buying or hunting through your stash for one skein of each color because I really, really don't think you're going to need two of any of them. And then this Owl Birth Sampler, which says, read me a story coming backwards. Tag me in sight, say a sweet prayer, and kiss me goodnight. And then you put the, the name and date. I have a good, um, actually mine and my husband's best friends have been trying for almost a decade to get pregnant. And they are finally pregnant. So I was in the hunt for a gender neutral 
kind of modern looking um, birth sampler and when I found this I was over the moon because it's super cute and very gender neutral modern and not overly religious but so I really was excited to find this pattern I didn't get very far on it that night but I got tight and a little squiggly underneath it done so this piece actually ends up being pretty long it's a pretty long piece of fabric of course I got my border on there too but that's that then I don't have this printed off either because again I'm almost out of ink but um, I believe it was Emma and Claire from the Stitch Mania group were doing this and I loved it it's uh, a Cheshire cat the Cheshire cats huge grin and I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan it's one of my all-time favorites and it says we're all mad here so geez Louise it's done on black Ada and that's my start so far I'm using a pretty cool turquoise which is not showing up really well but it's really pretty turquoise color um, it's actually Bahamas from Mo Cell is what I'm using for my words so I've changed up a little because they were all really just whites and yellows and I wanted some color in at least the words so that's my start on that and my final Stitch Mania start is the year in chalks. Um, I started June, which is the wells, and it's catch a wave. It has some waves. And this is the piece I was working on this morning. Photo bomb! <laughs> this is the piece I was working on this morning with my, while my son was in dance. So, uh, during Stitch Mania, I had the anchors, the stars, these little lines, and waves done. I just started adding the border, and I add the waves while he was in dance. Okay, Turkey, that's enough. <laughs> Hi everybody, I'm her son, and we watched, um, and we watched Harry Potter, it was good. We just done a marathon of all the movies. That's well, damn. Good. Okay, go on, let me finish. And also we just watched one episode of <laughs> Fast and the Furious, we started Fast and the Furious. Fast and the Furious. Yep. Let mommy finish, please. Fine. I won't know. Bye bye. Go on by. All right. See ya. <laughs> so that's uh, where I'm at on the June year in talk. And like I said, I'm continuing on this piece today, and I'm hoping maybe I'll get to finish it up tonight, but we'll see. So that was my final five starts for Stitch Mania. Bubba, please go on. I'm going to be finished already, okay? Yeah. Um, and the only other thing I have to show you today is I got some of the new in the mail. Yay! Stitchy mail. So this is Starry Night by Van Gogh. Well, the actual art is by Van Gogh. The kit is from Benway Crossitch. Which I've never ordered anything from them before, but I found it on Amazon. And it's... Um... Yeah, the edges are finished on the Ada, which doesn't always happen in kits, so that's nice. Um, I haven't even opened it yet to see if my floss is sorted or not. It looks like it is on pre-sorted cards. So, that's cool. Let's see. They are! You get two... You get two different already pre-sorted cards in there of floss and then your fabric this is actually smaller than I thought it was going to be so good it won't take quite as long I was afraid it was gonna be a really really big piece and then it also comes with extra of um, black and this blue because I'm assuming that's the two most used colors in the pattern and then it looks like it's a colored pattern four pages yeah front and back front and back four pages and it's got a nice um, color key there and then you know a diagram will show you how your pages are set up and then it's just the four 
uh, pages on there, and then it's got the page of the little instructions showing you how to cross stitch, which I already know how, so no issues there. Um, thanks, Nikki. And so this I bought because I had no clue, but my little brother had messaged me a picture of a hoop that had Starry Night done and embroidery in it. And I was like, well, that's pretty. What's up? Why are you sending me that? And he was like, well, that's just my favorite art piece, which I had no clue that was his favorite art piece. So when I found that out, I had to find a cross-stitch version, of course. And I'm going to hopefully get it done for him by Christmas this year. We shall see. We know how it goes once you start these big pieces. Sometimes it looks like it's, it's some confetti, but it doesn't look like it's terrible, terrible. Not like there's just one of each stitch in the whole page or anything. Um... You know, and there's some blocks of color too, so I don't think it'll be too bad. But sometimes you get started on these pieces, and you know, it takes you a year or more because you just keep putting it to the side. So we'll see if I get it done by Christmas this year or not. But eventually, I will get that done for him. And that's all I have to show you. I have a um, order coming in from One Two Three Stitch later this week. That'll probably be my last purchase for a while, but I will come on and show you that when it comes in. And I'm going to. Uh, come back maybe later this week with a video to show you all of my whips from before I started Stitch Mania and before I started Floss Tube so you can see all my uh, current whips that I was already working on. And I hope you're all having a great stitchy weekend and that you're getting stitchy time in and that you're enjoying my rotten photobombing child. And I will talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.